Hello everyone, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. In today's class, I will discuss some questions related to sentence improvement for the competitive exams like SSC, CGL, CHSL, PSC, Bank, etc. etc. This is Sentence Improvement Series Part 8. Kindly browse through the playlist of my channel Competitive English. You will find all the series in connection with competitive exams. Now, without wasting any more time, let's move into the class. Kindly keep your focus on the board. Now, look through the first question. One day you will repent. Repent means you will suffer from within. And you can see you will suffer from the qualms of conscience. One day you will repent over what you have done. This means one day you will feel a great amount of sorrow over what you have done. Now there are four options about of for no improvement. Generally after the verb of is placed but we can also place over. So you should take it into account that in case of the word repent, over can be used and over gives more strength than the application of of in the sentence. So there is no question of placing about or for against the word repent, but we can place of but when it is all about sentence improvement over is always better than off so the right answer lies in no improvement okay if you choose off it will be incorrect because over gives a better sense than off here now go next the moment they saw me they were delighted the sentence belongs to the simple past tense or past indefinite tense. Now look through the options. Are delighted, was delighted, were delighted. No improvement. Are delighted, was delighted, were delighted. So be careful of one thing. Are delighted if I say in that case the sentence will belong to the simple present tense. But here the sentence belongs to the simple past tense. So it is automatically out. And after the subject they was is never placed, so it is also eliminated. But if I ever look for the next option, were delighted, this is the perfect answer. Either we should say they were delighted or we should say they were in delight. But we should never say they were delight. Okay. Either we should say they were in delight or we should say they were delighted. But we should never say they were delighted. So the right answer lies in option C. That is they were delighted. Now if I just go next. She was more beautiful than either of her three cousins. It's a comparative sentence. Now there are four options. Either of her three cousins. All of her three cousins. Any of her three cousins. No improvement. Generally, after the <coughs> comparative application, we can say that whenever you are going to say this comparative what, then then is going to make the whole comparison. So, in case of the comparative degree, after positioning the what, then you can say it is functioning here. As the conjunction. So, generally, what is written is any other. Either any other or all other or something like that or no other. But it is never like that either of her three cousins. Now, look through the option either of her three cousins, all of her three cousins, any of her three cousins. We can easily choose all of our three cousins or any of our three cousins. But whenever 
two questions, uh, two answers are there, particularly this is automatically eliminated. This is not the perfect way of writing English. Then the fight remains between all of our three cousins and any of our three cousins. So even whenever such a comparison is there, you need to select any other instead of all other. At any other, it gives a more vibrant meaning than all other in this comparative mode. So the right answer lies in option C that is any of our three cousins. If you are unable to understand this analysis, you can easily make your comments in the comment box. I will try to make you understand in a better to best way. Now go next. They are not beware of all the facts. Now there are four options. Are not to be aware, are not beware or are not aware of. Now here what is mean that they were not in knowledge of the whole pact. It is not about getting cautious. It is all about getting knowledge. They are not aware of the fact. It is not about getting beer or, or it is not about getting cautious. It is all about knowing the fact. So whenever the sense is all about knowing, are not to be aware, are not beware and are not to be aware of. So you can see both are eliminated and are not aware of that means they are not aware of this is the right option if you if you choose are not to be aware of it is a poor piece of english and if you choose are not be aware then the meaning is going to be changed totally but here the meaning is all about knowing the fact so the best choice is in option c that is are not aware of. Now look through the overall class. The first answer goes for option D that is no improvement. Second answer goes for option C that is we are delighted. Third goes for option C that is any of our three classes. And the fourth answer goes for option C that is are not aware of. So this is my short class for the day as far as sentence improvement series is concerned. If you are unable to understand any of this class or you can say any of this analysis, you can easily make your comments in the comment box to clear your doubts. But before finishing the class, I should say, if you think my video is helpful for your exam, you can share my video, subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon for more such video. Kindly wait for my next class. Till then, have a very good day.